buzzing bees, tall trees. We'd all want to document these. The Philippines tops a list of countries most susceptible to hazards caused by climate change. What is climate change? Climate change is the change in the Earth's climate caused by the rapidly increasing greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels. The water crisis may worsen due to climate change. The Thwaites Glacier is melting at an alarming rate. Delicado na tayo, so kat may mga lugar na pumapalo na 1.5. Climate change has been affecting us in many different ways. First, be a four or five degrees increase in temperature. Translated the planet was warmer by 1.2 degrees Celsius last year. Then just recently, we were hit by Typhoon Ulysses, which flooded the cities of Tugaygarao and Marikina. The second largest ice sheet on Earth is said to melt faster than previously thought. This means that we might experience sea level rise at a faster rate. The climate has already changed with temperatures continuing to rise and precipitation patterns changing, and more disruptions certain in coming years and decades. If we refuse to act now, the appalling effects of climate change that we're currently experiencing will get worse. According to Sir David Attenborough, a naturalist, by the year 2030, if the deforestation in the Amazon rainforest continues, it will not hold enough moisture, turning it into a dry savanna. This is home to thousands of animals and is the world's largest tropical rainforest. As reported by the World Health Organization, between 2030 to 2050, climate change is expected to cause roughly 250,000 additional deaths per year from malnutrition, malaria, diarrhea, and heat stress. In 2050, the average temperature here in the country will increase from 1.8 to 2.2 degrees Celsius. This will cause low-lying cities to be submerged in water, displacing some of our fellow Filipinos. It will also greatly affect our agricultural sector. By the time of 2100, experts predicted for the sea level to rise about a meter higher than now, shifting part of the world's population to various places. In the same year, the rate of ocean acidification will speed up and disrupt the natural cycle of marine animals that may lead to food scarcity to humans. So, what now? Clear scientific evidence says that global climate change is happening rapidly due to human activities, the burning of fossil fuels, tree felling, the use of transportation to get to near places, and increased livestock farming. These are some other ways that help worsen climate change. Education takes a critical role in addressing and responding to climate change. Here at John Dewey, we tackle the issue of climate change very seriously. We connect it to all of our subjects in our classes. We read a lot of articles and watch documentaries regarding climate change. The high school students would organize webinars about climate change and invite speakers who are experts in this field. It's better to educate the students at a young age. So, in school, we try to teach climate change as early as in preschool. Considering that they are still young, we conduct activities where they will enjoy and learn at the same time, such as art, simple presentations, and storytelling. We need to work together for the world to become better. Don't you want to live in a place where there's no plastic and pollution? Where everyone can live in unison? We wish, really wish, we could say this is a dream. But no, really not. The fact is, we're in this actual downstream. Your kids, your grandkids, they don't deserve to experience this. So how about act now? Start from the top of your list. Let the trees grow as it is a large habitat for all the different creatures. Protect the environment. We can't afford losing its features. Let the fishes swim freely on the ocean. Don't throw plastics in there. It will cause greater pollution. Let the polar bears live on their mountains of ice. By decreasing the billion tons of CO2, we advise. Buzzing bees, tall trees, we'd all want to document these. Singing birds of paradise, blossoming flowers of a kind. Don't you want to leave them at peace? There's still hope. 
there's still time. There are things we have yet to try. Start picking up the trash nearby. Don't ignore it this time. Nature doesn't need us to thrive. Truth is, we need nature to survive. Let's all work together to protect our environment. Save the planet, save yourself.